Hey guys, today we are going to color Neil's hair. We? And by we, I mean Neil. And I'm just here for moral support. <laughs> I don't think I need moral support. So this isn't a how-to video or this isn't a review video. I just, uh, I, I've been coloring my hair since I was in eighth grade and I was going to color it today and I thought it might be kind of fun to record it. So that's really the only reason we're doing it. However, I will say the products that I'm using and, and maybe why I color my hair. But. And also that uh, Neil used to be a hairdresser. Yes, and I have so, my cosmetology license. Yeah. So I use professional color. <laughs> I'm using Rusk Deep Shine, which isn't the most amazing color, but it works pretty well. And I mix two colors together. I actually mix a color that has a little bit of uh, red violet in it. Uh, I use a level three and a level four and a half. Sometimes I put a little level two in there. It's the this color scale one is the darkest i think now 11 is the lightest um some color scales have 12 anyway it doesn't matter but this is the product that i'm using now i've used a bunch of different hair colors in my day dogs we have dogs the dogs so. are probably in the video and you can hear <laughs> of course they were quiet until we started recording they always are. but we're gonna leave them in because that's how it goes so i hope you don't mind because they're actually the stars not only are they the stars of our podcast they're probably right. going to be the stars of right. the youtube videos and it doesn't matter because they'll they'll stop if we stop and then they'll start again if we start again so so i have a little mirror set up above the camera off to my left so if it looks really creepy because I start staring in there it's just because I'm going to look in the mirror as I do my hair color also when I worked in the salon I was really good at hair color and I wouldn't leave halos or anything on people's heads when I do my own hair color I get it everywhere I have a ring around my head for like Hence three days shirt. yeah yeah I uh I end up getting on my ears down half the back of my neck so <laughs> Uh, I've, and like I said earlier, I've been coloring my hair since eighth grade, actually. Well, it started with sun in. I mean, you know, we're older, so sun in was a thing then. And it started with highlights because I was a big Bon Jovi fan. And then I've just <laughs> been coloring it. And this last year, I noticed I was going really gray. So what, another reason why my hair is so short is I shaved it to see how gray I was. And it started growing in. And uh, Annalise said, you know, you look really good when you color your hair. So... <laughs> That's why I'm coloring my hair again. It's true. Also, um, this I'm going to start mixing it just so every cloth is for drippage. For this stuff, one part hair color, one and a half parts developer. You should always measure. You should never just freelance it. You're not going to measure. I don't measure. Not because, when it comes to me. Which is why you said for, that. <laughs> for other for other people, yes, but when it comes to me, no, I don't. You should always measure. I'm not going to. Yeah, I'm not going <laughs> to. So, oh, that's way too much. All right, well, we'll have leftovers. Maybe, oh, maybe I'll do zero. No. <laughs> uh, we, we had a, uh, another Doberman before we got nine, whose name was Seven. And uh, every, every now and then, I would put a little bit of color on the tip of his little tail. He was cropped and docked, um, unlike our dogs now that are natural. Right. And uh, on the tip of his tail, I'd put a little color. I'd make sure he wouldn't lick it off, but then he'd have a little purple spot on the tip of his tail. <laughs> and I thought that was fun. And it was actually kind of ridiculous. I want to so badly turn the camera that way to show our dog nine who is sitting on the couch with her arm up like all and watching us. <laughs> you, can, you can go get the other camera. Maybe, maybe. All right, just probably making a lot of noise. I'm sorry for that. Sorry for that. So what I was always fascinated by when doing hair color, and I've been coloring my own hair as well since I was about 12. Um, I've even done like my own highlights and I've done other people's highlights and stuff. Um, I have not done my own color since meeting Neil because when you have professional in the house, you might as well let the professional do it. Right. Well, the one thing <laughs> is I don't, I haven't for a long time done highlights or a full head of highlights. So actually Annalise a few times has gone to the salon to get highlights done because I just don't, right. I'm just, I just don't feel comfortable. I did them last time and we did kind of did chunks and it worked out all right. Yeah. Um, but I also, yeah, just because I have my license doesn't mean I'm not, I don't, I don't work in the hair industry anymore so right. um, my chops are not up to par right. so anyway here we go you ch chat yeah. for a while uh, you're this still... is a little creepy while i do this so and just so you know like oh uh... i also apply it the incorrect way on myself because there's actually a method you're supposed to apply hair right. color right depending whether it's a touch up or on virgin hair and trust me no one's hair is virgin <laughs> it might may, may not have color in it but come on we know that hair's been fucking around i mean messing around wow yeah. <laughs> 
explicit rating right here. <laughs> Which is really funny because I don't swear a lot. Yeah, that's true. It's funny. Yeah. Um, what was I going to say? I think that I was going to talk about how when you start mixing Let's the talk color, about sex, it's baby. actually white. And now it's already oxidizing to like kind of a purple color. Yeah, I, I did not mix it correctly. I didn't want it this purple. Well, that's it's going right. to be a little purple. That's all right. Got some on your forehead. Do I? All right. I do. <laughs> I get it everywhere. And just so you know, I'm leaning this way a little bit because I want him to have space. Because obviously, normally I'm not sitting this See? close to him right here. while he's coloring his hair. So. And it's. I bet it looks hilarious when I reach towards the camera. It probably looks like I have a giant paw. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm actually more concerned about getting it on the wall behind me because right. when I do my own hair, it goes everywhere. So I'm trying <laughs> to be careful. I if I was doing it by myself and not recording and not here in the house, uh, which is really funny, another story. My bathroom is actually in the garage. I have a full bathroom in the garage. Yeah, uh, sorry, I'm, I am looking at the camera. I keep looking at you, so we're gonna probably fix that. Okay. But um, you have a little, I keep looking because you have missed this one spot right here. So. My goodness. I'm helping. Yeah. I'm gonna need a towel. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I've been like coloring my own hair since, uh, again, I was like 12, but I haven't 12? done it. Yeah. Would you use Clairol? Whatever the store had. Yeah, that's Clairol. Miss Clairol? Yeah. Miss Clairol. <laughs> I wonder if Miss Clairol was like, uh, what was the name of the Jamaican lady who used to tell everybody's fortune? Miss Clarice? No. Clarice? No. Miss... Oh, I don't know. Cleo. Cleo. Was she Jamaican? Well, I shouldn't say that. I think she said she was Jamaican, but she had that Caribbean accent, but mm -hmm. it sounded more Jamaican-ish to me than other parts know. of the Caribbean. And I remember that. I mean, I remember Miss Cleo, but I remember, and I remember having an accent, but I don't remember... Her being she got in a lot of trouble. Okay, so my color is now on, and now I'll be waiting 35 to 40 minutes and then I'm gonna rinse it out. So, I just thought this would be fun to record. I think so too. So that's it. <laughs> I actually did a better job than I thought I would, I think, because I was nervous about doing it on camera, which is kind <laughs> of <hilarious>. funny. <laughs> uh, but I've got some little spots, oh, like... God. You totally hit my hair button. Whack. <laughs> I'm like one of those people that get interviewed for the news, and they have their kids, and their kids falls off the chair, and they're like, I ain't getting the kid. I don't want to ruin the news shot. Um, but I got some stuff here and a little bit on my neck, but yeah. I'll have to go uh, to the hairdresser, and uh, I have to get my hair kind of trimmed up now that it's starting to grow back, which is funny, because I go to Great Clips. Because I sponsor NASCAR. <laughs> it's actually <exactly> true. <laughs> it's just true. So, um, I like it. Looks good. It's a little dark. I kind of messed up on the color, but. No, I like it. That's what's important. Because she's the one that gives me that. Yeah. Yeah, what? <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye.